YouTube, what up? It's your boy, The Truth You Dig, and we're here today with another Madden, I guess, first time Madden 22 video, sort of. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, I mentioned in one of my videos earlier this week, or last week, rather, we're going to be looking at legends that I would like to see personally for every NFL team. We're going to be a two-part series. We're going to do the NFC first today, then we're going to do the AFC tomorrow. Um, and when I'm talking about legends, I'm talking, I'm talking about legends that was been in before. I'm talking about brand new legends. They did a great job last year of bringing brand new legends into the game. I want to see that continue, but obviously with different names. And I got a quite extensive list here. I've done a lot of research, went back a lot of years to find some of these legends. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please like and subscribe to the video and to the channel. Man, 22 is almost here. It's a couple days away. Obviously, look, I'm in Australia, so I'm going to get it sooner than most of y'all in the States. <laughs> um, but if you change it to New Zealand time, there's a way you can get around that. Look, there's plenty of videos on it. Search it up if you want to get it early and you can't wait. Um, but without further ado, let's get into these legends I want to see for the NFC. Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No, I'm balling no niggas. When I was down on my luck, there wasn't no calling no niggas. I made it happen. Right, all right, all right. To quote Kevin Hart. But first, let's talk about the Bears. And the legend I would like to see is Sid Luckman. Now, I haven't done research to see when he's been in the game, but if you don't know this man, a lot of people may not know. Um, he's the best quarterback in Bears history, and he played over 70, 80 years ago, which is amazing. Um, obviously, they had the Jay Cutler, Jim McMahon since that time, but this man is still, you know, I, it was ahead of his time back in the 40s. And it gives me hope that last year they introduced Fritz Pollard, who was also from this era. Um, so Sid Luckman would be a great introduction to the game. Um, it would get Bears theme teams a good quarterback for once. Um, if they brought in Jay Cutler, I wouldn't be mad, but I think Sid Luckman would be a great addition, obviously for some of the old heads like football and some of the new guys to get to learn who Sid Luckman is. Now, next on my list, we're moving to the Buccaneers, and we're looking at Dexter Jackson, instrumental to their Super Bowl victory um, when they won the Super Bowl, I believe in 2002, 2003, um, when they didn't win the Super Bowl. But a lot of people don't know about Dexter Jackson, but man, was a great DB, and I think it would be good to have that name back. You know, you got the Rondé Barbers, the Derrick Brooks, you got the John Lynch. The only person really missing from Warren Sapps. We've had Simeon Rice in past years. Dexter Jackson will be a vital piece to have. Kind of give that nostalgia feeling to those Tampa Bay Buff fans who did experience that Super Bowl back in the day. Um, I think Dexter Jackson would be a fantastic pick. Another person I thought about as well was Hardy Nickerson. Um, but with their current linebacker situation with Devin White and Levante David and Derek Brooks, maybe hard to get on the field, but could use a DB with Dexter Jackson's skill set. I believe he got a pick six in that Super Bowl. Um, yeah, like he was just a vital piece. And so all my Buccaneers fans who knows about Dexter Jackson, I guarantee they'll be happy to see him back in the game. Now coming in next for the Arizona Cardinals, because I'm not going by division, I'm just going down by list how they're listed, is as you can see, Larry Wilson. Now... Again, a lot of these players are older, but Larry Wilson by many is considered the great, the greatest Cardinal of all time. Maybe outside of Larry Fitzgerald, you can argue, but man, was he a do-everything safety back in the day. Um, if you look at, you know, some of his stats from the 60s and 70s, and look, I'm not going to go into a history lesson on all these guys. It's just some people that I've done research on that I think would be great. Um, six foot, 190 pounds. Um, was a ball hawk and safety, could run stuff, could sack the quarterback, could do it all. Um, it's kind of like maybe like a Pat Tillman, obviously rest in peace Pat Tillman, um, before Pat Tillman, was just an all over the field type safety. So I think Larry Wilson will be a great addition back into Madden, I guess would be, I don't know if he's been there before, but will be a new legend um, that obviously can be implemented into Madden for the Arizona Cardinals. Now for the Dallas Cowboys, I was thinking of going Darren Woodson, hard hitting safety from the 90s, instrumental for the Cowboys Super Bowl wins, but I thought I would go about the best with the best defensive player in Cowboys history. Um, now, a lot of y'all may think it's DeMarcus Ware, Darren Wilson, Deion Sanders, but it's actually, if y'all didn't know, Randy White. This man was an absolute monster for Tom Landry. Um, early, late 70s, early 80s, the man played defensive tackle, D, and even linebacker, and just absolutely wrecked havoc. Um, I believe he was super, co Super Bowl MVP um, as well. Um, and look, obviously, I know for Madden terms, they got DeMarcus Ware and Tank Lawrence and stuff like that. But this type of versatility, um, depending on how they did the stats and stuff, I think it would just be great 
than having back in the game, especially for like diehard, you know, late cowboy fans who know about Randy White um, and things of that nature. So, um, like I said, I wouldn't be mad at Darren Woodson, but if Randy White can somehow make it back in the game, that would be fantastic. And for those Philadelphia Eagles, Trent Cole. Now, another one I think a, a lot of Eagles fans would be mad about because sometimes they have secondary trouble in Madden would be Lito Shepard. Lito Shepard, excuse me, who paired with Sheldon Brown in the early 2000s, late 2000s with Brian Dawkins at safety. It was a fantastic tandem in corner. So, wouldn't be mad at a Lito Shepard. We kind of low underrated him. But I think Trent Cole would be fantastic because I think it would be safe to say he's their best edge rusher outside of Reggie White. Um, in the Eagles history, I'm not entirely sure in terms of sacks, how the numbers stack up, but dude was a menace off the edge, 6'3", 6'4", 270 pounds, look mad and always needs speed rushers, and I believe that's what he was, was a speed rusher coming off the edge, so obviously look, Eagles team, team music, get Javon Curse, Reggie White, um, Fletcher Cox, but moving Reggie White down to D-tackle, having Trent and Javon Curse coming off the edge, who would be mad at that as an Eagles fan? Now moving on to the Falcons, I thought this one was a no-brainer. Y'all yeah, I may not know about that, but Jamal Dirty Bird Anderson, this guy, late 90s, early 2000s, was basically essential to Atlanta culture. Everyone did the Dirty Bird, um, you know, when he scored a touchdown. Like I said, I just did the dance, if you're not familiar with it. But I think it would be cool if him to be back in the game, but only, only if they added his dance with it. Um, kind of like, is it Crazy Legs as well? If they add him back in the game, he has to have his... And animation in this celebration as well. So I think Jamal Anderson will be a cool pick to be back in the game. Like I said, there's a multitude of Falcons you probably can go, but I thought this would be just great just to have him back in the game if and only if they brought back the Dirty Bird, dirty bird Dance. And for the San Francisco 49ers, look, they're stacked. Usually every year, year in and year out in terms of the theme team, but I thought it would be pretty cool if Dwight Clark came back in the game. Now, if you were born yesterday or you don't know who Dwight Clark is, if you've watched many highlights of Joe Montana drifting to his right, throw it to the back of the end zone, and someone making that miraculous catch by this fingertips, it was this man. Um, so I think it would be cool to have him back in the game, especially if you have Joe Montana back in the game, to have that connection between Joe Montana and Dwight Clark. Um, also, again, if they can get, if he can somehow get that animation in the game, if they can build that in. And look, I don't know with all these guys in terms of rights, I'm just bringing out names that I think will be fun and interesting to have in the game. But I think Dwight Clark can be pretty cool to have back in the game, though. And for the New York football giants, I think it would be cool to have Tiki Barber back in the game. He's one of the few people I actually think of when I think of New York Giants. I actually think of LT, I think of Michael Strahan. But offensively, I think it would be really, really cool to have Tiki Barber back in the game, um, a running back. Obviously, look, you have Saquon, um, and last year you had Jim Thor, so it would be competition there. But Amani Toomer would be cool as well, um, even Taxico Burris. But Tiki Barber was my pick um, just for a simple fact. He kind of carried them literally and figuratively um, early in his career. Um, obviously, with he had fumbling problems, but corrected if any of our old heads remember where he decided to tuck the ball like this. Um, but yeah, he was very instrumental in, you know, some of the early John's run and he was a great back for them. So I think Tiki Barber would be a cool name to be back in the game. Um, cause it'd be kind of fun to have a, you know, brother combination with Tiki and Rondé if obviously he comes back to the Bucks. Now another running back, but this time for the Detroit Lions would be Dope Walker. Now, Doak Walker only played five seasons in the NFL, but I think it would be cool to have his name back in the game and in Madden, just for the simple fact in NCAA, which you know is returning soon. Um, the Doak Walker Award is awarded to the best running back in the nation. And who's that Doak Walker? You're looking at him. So I think it would be pretty cool to have him back in the game, um, a person where a college award is named after them, um, obviously in the professional ranks. Like I said, he only played five seasons, only had about 1,500 yards, as you can see. Um, or you might be able to see because my camera's rocking about 1,520 yards. It did average about five yards per carry. But I think it'd be pretty cool for those who do like NCAA to have the, you know, the, the person to award his name is after the best running back in the nation in the Madden game. And coming in for the Packers, I did want to be selfish. I'll be honest. I wanted to say Javon Walker so he could get Broncos cam. But I decided against it. It will be cool if he got into the game. But um, look, we've gotten Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre. Why not have Bart Starr, um, three greatest quarterbacks in, you know, Green Bay history, Green Bay Packers history, excuse me. So I think it would be cool. Again, um, it's one of those names, and it gives me hope because obviously we had older names last year, um, and always we continue to do every year, but Bart Starr would be a cool name to see back in Madden 21, Madden 22, excuse me, 
um, for the Packers. It would give them obviously a decision to make between Bart, Aaron, and Brett Favre. But I think that's a good problem to have, though. Now, for the Carolina Panthers, I think Mushi Muhammad would be a great addition. Big receiver. A lot of people may not know him, but he was actually a fantastic receiver for the Carolina Panthers. I believe he had over 11,000 yards, 860 receptions, 62 TDs, and he was a big body, about 6'2", 215. Before Steve Smith, Mushi Muhammad was the guy. Um, and even at, the, I believe, at the tail end of Mushi Muhammad's career, Steve Smith was obviously being ushered into the NFL and stuff like that. And obviously, Steve Smith went on to set so many Panthers records. But Mushi Muhammad was a fantastic receiver in his own right. You don't put up 860 catches, 11,000 yards in the NFL um, and not be a great receiver. So um, I think that would be a great addition for the Carolina Panthers. Um, obviously, a lot of other additions that could be made. Chris Gamble um, in terms of a corner. John Beeson in terms of a linebacker. But I thought a receiver like Mushi Muhammad would be a good addition, though. For the St. Louis Rams, I know he's been a man before. I don't know how long it's been since he's been in Madden, but Marsha Falk would be that guy, especially with how powerful receiving backs can be, and arguably, you know, one of, if not the greatest receiving backs in NFL history, and how cool would it be if Kurt Werner came back and they had as Isaiah Bruce and Torrey Holt to have that foursome, you know, on the field for that, you know, the greatest show on turf, which they had before, man, I think it would be so dope and so nostalgic for Rams fans and for football fans in general. Everyone loved the greatest show on turf. Um, but, yeah, I think Marshall Falk, especially in Madden today, um, how passing backs are so, especially early in the game, are so usable and just so dominant with, you know, the route combos and table routes and Texas routes and things of that nature. Dog, Marshall Falk will be a very, very highly coveted card. And coming in for the Washington, Washington football team, formerly known as the Redskins, um, Art Monk. Now, I could have went Daryl Green, but he's been in Madden, I think, in the last three or four years. I was thinking about John Riggins as well, um, one of the big hog mollies who ran behind the hogs. Obviously, Russ Grimm came in last year, which was a name. But Art Monk has been disrespected in terms of the wide receiver community for far too long. Um, 940, 940 catches, 12,000 yards, um, 68 touchdowns. Um, one of the best receivers ever to lace him up, and he just doesn't get his just due. But in Madden, 6'3", 210 will be a big-time target. Obviously, depending on the archetype, how that works out, probably will be physical. But nevertheless, it would be a cool name to be back in the game for Washington football teamers um, who do struggle sometimes to get receivers. Um, obviously, you got Terry McLaurin, um, Deshaun Jackson, if he gets a power-up. But I think Ark Monk would be a dope receiver to have um, back into the game. And for the New Orleans Saints, a lot of y'all just may think of him as Peyton and Eli's dad. But what y'all don't know, Archie Manning was a bad, bad man in his own rights in the early 70s. And obviously, he only had a short career. Um, but man, he was good. And obviously, he was good on a bad Saints team. Um, and obviously, injury struck him as well. But man, he was a, he was fun to watch. Um, and I think it would be cool to have, obviously, we know Peyton's in the game because of the pre-order. Um to have Arch in the game, maybe bring back Eli, to have, you know, I think it would be cool for, you know, a family to have, you know, brother brothers and a dad in a video game. But, I mean, Archie Manning would be a fun quarterback to use, especially for St. St. Theme teams who usually just use Drew Brees because Drew Brees is good, the only usually good quarterback for St. St. Theme team. Um, I think Archie Manning would be, and I think he would be like a, maybe a scrambler, an improviser archetype, maybe an improviser because um, the man just made plays. It was just unfortunate he was on the Saints at the wrong time. Um, but he was a great quarterback. Um, so I think it would be cool for Archie Manning to be back in the game. Now, for the Seahawks, before there was Cam Chancellor or Earl Thomas, they had a rich history of safeties. Let me introduce y'all to Kenny Easley. A lot of y'all may not know him. My man was only around for about six to seven years, but was he an enforcer in that secondary? I urge you to go on YouTube and type in some Kenny Easley highlights. Man, he used to lay the lumber. I'm talking about big time lumber. 6'3", 2'10", obviously for Madden, any safety who is tall and fast would be great. Kenny Easy would fit the build to the T. Um, so I think it would be cool to have him back in the game. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, with safeties being so prevalent in Madden in general, more safeties the better, and especially big safeties who are 6'3", um, roam in the middle of the field. And last but not least, for the Minnesota, Vi Minnesota Vikings, excuse me, the greatest Viking of all time, apologies Randy Moss, but Frank Tarkenton. The scrambler is what they called him. Man was it before his time in terms of numbers, in terms of making plays, in terms of throwing. So you got to remember back in those days in the 60s and 70s, it wasn't really a passing league. 
you know, especially like it is today. Um, that's why some of these guys don't get mentioned as some of the greats because they don't have the gaudy numbers that some of the guys have now, even in the early 2000s. But, man, Frank was a beast, like point blank simple. Again, like I said with Kenny Easley, I urge you to go watch some Frank Tarkenton's highlights and not come out impressed. Um, easily the greatest Viking of all, all time, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinion. Um, he just was Mr. Do-It-All for the Vikings. Literally, as they say, put the team on my back, though. Um, so, yeah, Frank Tarkenton would be an awesome name to have back in Madden. Give, you know, Vikings a viable theme team option. You know, a quarterback, obviously, I know sometimes they have Culpepper. No one really likes to use Kirk Cousins, but... Um, yeah, I think it would be cool to have, you know, the scrambler back in the game, period. All right, that's it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know down below some legends that I miss. Um, if you like the list, if, you know, something different you want to change, whatever you let me know, just leave a comment down below. Um, I think this was fun. It was fun for me to actually do research because it makes me, made me think about some names that I didn't actually think about and do actually some extensive research on these specific names. So, um, but look, Madden 22 is literally around the corner. Um, you guys probably be seeing this a day before Madden 22. And then I'll be doing the AFC edition the day probably after that this is released. Um, but it'll be cool. Hopefully, we'll, we'll maybe hit, take a revisit back at this at the end of the year and see how many names were obviously brought into the game. Um, I, look, I don't expect much because I don't know licenses and rights and all that nature. I'm just thinking of names that potentially could, one, help to help the theme team, two, be very nostalgic, and three, just would have be fun names to come into the game. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy. If you could, please for me, again, like and subscribe to the video and the channel. We're closing in on 200 subscribers. It's a big milestone for me. I do appreciate that with all my love. And I appreciate the support. But you know I'm always signing out with that Maha salute. Deuces. I